Hello guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov, I'm the Photoshop artist and today I will show to you how you can retouch your image using free Adobe mobile application. I'm talking about Adobe Photoshop Fix and I will be using um, iPad Pro and Apple Pencil as well. So guys, let's start. First of all, I will click on Adobe Photoshop Fix application and voila. To create a new project, I will click on plus sign. And I know that my image like is located on my iPad, so I will click on on my iPad, and I will click on Camera Roll. Here is my image, so I will click on my image, and voila, my image um, available for my retouching. Uh, guys, I will be not covering all tools available in Adobe Photoshop Fix. Today I will be covering only um, tools uh, I will be using in my today's workflow and I will record separate tutorial um, and I will cover all uh, tools and all features available in Adobe Photoshop Fix. So guys, I took this image a year ago in Iceland. I love everything um, about this image, um, but definitely this image needs to be retouched. First of all, I would love to remove those poles. Also, I have some something in the water. I would love to remove this. And I have here um, bird's feather, um, feathers I would love to remove as well. To remove any subject out of your image in Adobe Photoshop Fix, I will click on healing icon and now I'm redirected to healing uh, workspace. Uh, by default, in a healing workspace, uh, spot a healing uh, tool is selected. I can control my tool using hardness and size. Um, by default, I'm starting, um, oh, I'm always starting with um, hardness about seven, and size depend of the um, subject I would love to remove. So, example, if I will zoom in my image, I will see this pole. This pole is uh, not too big, so I will increase size of my brush to 17.5 and I will simply paint over my uh, subject I would love to remove, just like that. And voila, guys! Adobe Photoshop Fix did all a job for me. I don't need to be worried. I don't need to be stressed. Everything is simply great. Uh, also, I will remove this pole, simply paint over it. Perfect. And I would love to remove uh, this pole as well. I will bring size of my brush down and I will paint over this pole, just like this. Perfect. Voila. Um, I will zoom in my image. I will bring down size of my brush and I will paint over this small pole just like that. Perfect. Let me zoom out. Uh, I remember that I have something in the water. I will bring size of my brush up and I will simply paint over this subject in my water just like that. And also uh, feather. And I'm happy. Now I will click on OK to accept my changes, just like that. And now I will click on Adjust um, icon. After I click on Adjust icon, I will be redirected to Adjust work, uh, Workspace. By default, in Adjust workspace, workspace, Exposure icon is selected. So, what I will do now, guys, I will increase Exposure, just like that. I will move my slider slightly to the right. I will click on Contrast and I will move my slider um, to the right to increase Contrast. I will click on Warmth and I will move my slider to the right. Now, guys, I will click on Saturation icon. And I remember exactly the day when I took this image. It was very nice, beautiful morning with very beautiful summer colors. So I would love to recreate those colors. Uh, in my Saturation um, slider, I will move my slider to the right, just like that. Just like that. I'm happy and I will click OK. Now, guys, I would like to bring back colors of my sky. 
I will click on Paint icon and I will be redirected to Paint Workspace. Uh, by default, uh, my paintbrush is selected and I can control my paintbrush. So I will, uh, if I will click on Color icon, I will be able to choose my color and I will use something very blue. Uh, I can control opacity of my brush. I will use about opacity about 33, hardness not more than 5 and size of my brush. Um, I will use uh, the biggest size of my brush with today's workflow. So using blue color, I will simply uh, paint over my sky just like that. And guys, if you will um, paint over uh, some area you, you don't want to paint, don't worry, you will fix it just in a second. So I painted over my sky and definitely over my beautiful green um, grass, over my houses. I will fix this in a second. But before that, I would like to bring down opacity of my layer. I will be, I want to bring down opacity of my blue layer. On my left top corner, I have two icons. I will click on first icon. And if I will bring a move uh, opacity um, slider to the uh, left, I will bring down opacity of my layer. So I will move my slider to the left and I have a positive of my um, layer about 61. Next to a uh, layer icon, I have another icon. If I will click on this icon, I will be able to preview before and after. Before and after. So guys, uh, now time to um, remove color out of my houses and beautiful uh, green grass. I will click on restore icon. I will bring the size of my brush down, uh, hardness and opacity um, depend on your taste, and I will paint over my house. Basically, I'm erasing my blue um, color I used for uh, my sky. So I'm erasing my uh, uh, blue sky color out of my houses because I would love to have my um, Example, this beautiful house with a red roof. Also, I will erase um, a blue color out of my beautiful green grass. Just like that. Let me zoom out. If I will need, I will increase size of my brush and I will fix all edges. Just like that. I'm, I'm perfectly happy with what I'm having right now. I will click on OK to accept my changes. And... I will click on adjust icon again. Here I will bring an um, exposure slider slightly to the right. I will click on saturation and I will move saturation slider slightly to the right as well. And now finally I'm completely happy with my image. So I will click on OK icon to accept all changes. Now guys let's talk about um, top uh, right corner. First icon is uh, information icon about um, icon with all information about your image. Next to it, we have share icon. If you will click on it, you uh, you have all um, uh, wonderful choices you can work with. First of all, you can save your image in your camera roll. If you are Creative Cloud subscriber, you will be able to send your image to Photoshop CC or save your image to Lightroom. Also, you will be able to save your image to your Creative Cloud library. And guys, also, you will be able to submit your image directly from um, Adobe Photoshop Fix to Adobe Stock. Simply click on Contribute to Adobe Stock and voila. Um, you will um, follow a few easy steps uh, and your image will be um, submitted for uh, Adobe um, stock. Also, you will be able to share your image on Instagram, Facebook and publish on Behance. I love, love Behance. Also, guys, if you will click on share, you will be able to uh, quick share your image um, as you can share your image with any other iOS device. So, guys, next to it, by the way, you have another very important icon. If you will click on this icon, you will see flatten um, icon. If you will click on flatten 
icon you will flat uh, your image will be flattened so you will be not able to change uh, opacity of your layer so if you you need to click on this um, icon only when you hundred percent sure that you are done with your image you uh, when you sure that you will be not you will not back to your image uh, one day or two day later on and you will you will be not wishing that you will be back and you will undo few previous steps. So this is the last icon you're supposed to click on. So guys, this is what I wanted to share with you today. Um, as, as usual, if you have any questions, please ask. I will be more than happy to answer to any of your questions. I hope you like my tutorial. If you like my tutorial, please subscribe to my channel and share my channel and my um, tutorial. Thank you guys for being with me and I will see you later. Bye guys.